what up what up what up what up what up crypto warriors and sergeant crypto back at it again today is monday may 13th 2019 no inspirational quotes today maybe it's in, uh, this is kind of inspirational bitcoin has died 35 oh sorry 35 355 times and this is on uh, 99bitcoins.com the most recent death occurred on may 5th 2019 when warren buffett says bitcoin is a gambling device isn't all investing kind of sort of a gambling device mm, uh, you know you kind of have to weigh your options and make sure that you are not investing money that is for paying the bills next the heat the heat map man it, it's crazy it's it's nothing but green everything is lit up lit up lit up lit up bitcoin at one some point today was over 7800 and look at eth eth is now over 200 dollars xrp up five and a half over five and a half percent bnb coin back in the green litecoin almost 89 dollars so we, we are moving man moving 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 here we are speaking of binance hacked exchange binance to resume withdrawals and deposits could spark raging crypto rally it has sparked the raging crypto rally it's nothing but great news coming out especially today uh with you know the stories i have lined up for you guys withdrawals and deposits will be taking place tomorrow on the 14th tuesday and it's exciting news it's exciting times because of what happened last week with the the hack on binance and you know cz is a superhero he was very transparent on what was taking place and what was happening that needed to take place as far as us the consumers doing our part with the security of our accounts on Binance. Tongue tire, I don't know why. Next, thousands of US banks now, uh, should be now accepts uh, FIO, now have FIO took a uh, FIO. Fiat to crypto gateways for Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, XRP, and more, says crypto platform Abra. I am having a tongue tire today, man. Abra is making it easier for people in the US to convert fiat money into different cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. The crypto startup has partnered with fintech company Plaid to make it possible for users to connect to Abra's wallets through thousands of bank accounts. Plaid makes it easier for people to connect their bank to financial apps like Abra. For Abra users, the Plaid integration means that now thousands of banks are easily compatible with the Abra wallet. Moving old, this is the tweet from uh, Abra. Moving old-fashioned fiat in and out of crypto just got easier. Check out our new Plaid integrations that make it super easy to connect uh, Abra and with thousands of U.S. banks. I'm just super excited, so I just want to like get get it all out. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of new infrastructure available for onboarding people into the crypto space now when the last bull run happened in late 2017 a lot of crypto exchanges couldn't take the the amount of new users that was signing up to their platform people were waiting weeks to get onboarded onto these crypto platforms not only that a lot of banks weren't you weren't able to deposit funds directly from a bank account into a crypto exchange you have to go through like coinbase or gemini and you know that process within itself was kind of slow if you didn't already have an account it was just you know a big hot mess well now we have tons of different ways for people not only in the u.s but around the world to get onboarded through fiat gateways to get on to crypto exchanges so we have binance which have several different fiat gateways and not only in Africa but also in Europe and in Asia to exchange their fiat directly into crypto we have uh, coinbase which we already know is here in the US but now in the UK and in Japan so tons of different fiat gateways the Abra app um, there's another one I'm forgetting right now which you know is, is escaping my mind right now however they're not a, a avail available to New York uh, cu customers right because of the crap I mean the bit the bit license crap okay but the gateways that are available right now man it is the next bull run is going to be insane the next bull run will be insane all right and, and we're just seeing a, a taste of what is going to happen 
with all the green we're seeing right now. Next, huge news. Amazon owned Whole Foods boys crypto by accepting Bitcoin. This is out of CCN. And my bad, I forgot to tell you where these stories are from. They're all going to be linked in the description below. This is from the Daily Hoddle and this is from CCN. So here it is. Uh, there's no shortage of possible catalysts behind the spike in the Bitcoin price. You can now add Jeff Bezos, Amazon, to the list. Whole Foods, which is owned by the e-commerce behemoth, is now accepting Bitcoin as a payment method. This is friggin' awesome news, people. All right, it's outstanding. I don't even know what else to, to say to, to describe it. We have all this great news coming out. We have you know Binance reopening their doors. We have now Whole Foods accepting crypto. I'm going to get into the you know the the good stuff. All right. Uh, users only need to download an app dubbed Spedden and can make everyday purchases using cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash, and Gemini Dollar, the GUSD. Considering that the GUSD is a is a stable coin of the Winklevoss Gemini Exchange, it's not surprising. Blah blah blah. Tyler Winklevoss uh, told Fortune, "The idea of living on crypto is now a reality. You can now do it for the c consumer." It amounts to being crypto conscious. It's like being green. This is their little ad right here. I won't play it because of you know I don't want to get hit. All right. Uh, here we go. More parts I highlighted. So it's through a, a partnership with Flexa. Flexa Gemini retail partnerships are really a reflection of the, the best of both worlds. The technology builds on existing payments infrastructure that use to accept digital payments such as Apple Pay. For instance, all the retailers must do is tweak their scanners to identify payments from the Spedden app. In addition to Whole Foods, the initiative extends to other merchants including Crane & Barrel, high, high uh, retailer Nordstrom, the Flexi Network, I guess it should be Flexa. The Flexa Network is comprised of more than 30,000 stores and finally thrusting crypto into the spotlight with micro purchases such as a cup of coffee pizza and electronics and again more this is a again the um, YouTube ad on their uh, Gemini channel on YouTube so being able to spend your cryptos on that you know cup of coffee that people have been talking about since Bitcoin came out right since 2009 and now we're, we're able to spend it at Whole Foods. We're able to now spend your linked Gemini account to the the Flexi uh, um, the Flexa app and s spend your cryptos at places like Whole Foods. And they're saying that it's going to be an easy integration for Amazon as well through the this this app. You know, it's just Amazon being able to update their their uh, payment network to accept payments from the uh, spending app next and last you know last but not least eBay eBay ads tell world it will finally accept virtual currency so this is coming out of consensus which is taking place right now here in New York uh, the big crypto conference which is taking place all week here in New York City and this is the ad right here virtual currency it's happening on eBay this is coming out of uh, the bitcoinist.com Cryptocurrency users were celebrating fresh rumors about a major adoption push this week after hints suggested eBay might accept Bitcoin and altcoins. And right now, it's just uh, an ad, like a banner ad, in the hotel where the con the conferences are being held. But there you have it, man. eBay, which is second only behind Amazon, is now also accepting crypto. And I guess they'll officially announce it some point sooner or later this week at consensus to say that yo we are accepting cryptos and we are accepting bitcoin this is great news all right the adoption is coming the virus is spreading everyone wants in on bitcoin and we are the early adopters we were here since 2017 2016 15 you know 13 whatever We've been here, stuck it out through the bear market of 2018, which was the worst crypto bear market up until this point. And people, we stuck it out, buying the dips, buying the dips, you know, stacking our bags, 
waiting for that mass adoption to come and that time is now we have fidelity entering the space we have backed coming in all right which is part of the new york stock exchange nasdaq okay the big players are coming in and you know this is my little conspiracy theory i'm going off on a little tangent right here wouldn't be surprising to me to find out you know may, many years from now that the binance hack was caused by someone at like backed or fidelity or something like that just to prove to re the regular uh everyday retail investors that hey wall street is here and you could trust us not those uh crypto guys where you could get your stuff hacked all right but that's just my little you know crazy theory out there or whatever but yeah man it exciting times didn't mean to go to, to the negative but it's exciting times right now and i'm just super pumped man super pumped everybody's you know bags should be up right now <laughs> if you've been buying since last year your bags are up right now baby you know but as always man thanks for all the support you know smash up the likes hit that subscribe button that notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos it's your boy sergeant crypto and i'm out peace